welcome back so once again here we are going to see the analysis of harmonic response of the crankshafts for harmonic response go to the harmonic response just click and drag and drop it into the working area as we see that the new data coming from static structure analysis to metal analysis same way just click on the new data of the model analysis and drop to the harmonic response the this new data are shared with the harmonic response curves for the geometry as we see that a structure a static structural geometry is shared by the model analysis and this geometry is also shared by the harmonic for sharing of the geometry just click on the geometry and drop to the harmonic response geometry blocks this arrows indicates that geometry Wing data is sharing from static structure to model, from model to harmonics, and geometry is sharing from structure structural to model, and from model to uh, harmonic response. Moving towards the third step, models. Just click, right click on that models, and go to edit buttons. Here we wait a second. Okay, we are loading. Yes, we back. Going to the geometry, we have five parts: part one, part two, part three, part four, and part fives. As we see earlier, go to the mesh, right-click the mesh on the mesh, just click on generate mesh. We will see the mesh is generated over this whole area of a component. Going to the harmonic response, insert the big supports. Just insert, click on the fix uh, support. Here we are got fix support and clicking on the fix support. Uh, just uh, go to the face option, press the control button and select all part of the left lens and click apply. Fix support one is generated and looks like that. This is the fix supports. Here we go. Fix support one. This is the fix support. You can see that after fix support one, just go to the harmonic response and insert fix support. This will generate a fix support two. And for fix support two, go to the face, press the control button, and select all the parts of the right flange for the fix support two. Just selecting all the parts, click on the Apply button and fix support two will be generated and looks like that. After going to the uh, fix support two, go to the next step. For next step, inserting the force. For uh, inserting force, go to the harmonic response, insert and click on the force. As we click on the force, force uh, option is generated. And for force, go to the face, press the control button and select upper and lower uh, face of the crank pins. And apply the force of that very newton, five zero zero fifty thousand newtons. And click to if you want to change the direction, click to change the direction. Uh, this direction shows vertically downward, so just apply. If you want to change the direction of uh, vertically upward, click here and select the objects. This is the arrow. You can change the directions also. We are not going to uh, change the directions. Vertically downward force is applied, and going to the initial condition. This is the our initial conditions. As we over the fix support one, fix support two, and force are applied. After uh, inserting all these initial condition, hit the solution buttons, and after that, going to the solutions, insert deformations, total deformations. Here we go the total deformations. After that, you can insert the strain value, maximum work mass stresses, strain value, and you can also insert the frequency response curve and phase response curve. As we got all the result, total deformations is looks like that. Total deformation, phase response curve. As that's the phase response curve for amplitude. Versus frequency curve. In the frequency uh, versus amplitude curve, we see that uh, 
the particular frequency 7.2 e4 the amplitude is minimum and at the frequency of 9 uh, into 10 raise to power 4 the maximum and at the amplitude of 6.24 e the amplitude is 1.46 this is the second uh, uppermost uh, amplitude and the second diagram is the phase angles versus frequency this uh, indicates that the our uh, frequency and uh, phase going to be changed at the 180 degree to 0 degree to 180 degree at uh, the particular frequency 7.2 e raise to 4 the phase uh, angle is 180 degree and for that uh, highest uh, curve uh, highest amplitude this is going to be 0 degree after that cycle is repeated 0 degree 180 degree 0 degree and goes on continuous and third one this is the normalized curve this is the combination of amplitude versus phase angle for the particular uh, frequency as we know uh, see that the at the particular frequency at the particular frequency the amplitude and phase angles is seen from the tabular data going from models 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 10 the uh, response of phase angle 180 degree 180 degree 180 degree and uh, at the particular frequency 74130 74130 this is the frequency 74130 where the phase angle is 0 and the amplitude of uh, uh, amplitude is 0 0.5413 uh, so we got the result for the first phase response curve that is the structural uh, stress of the uh, frequency of the stress and going to the second frequency this is the uh, amplitude versus uh, frequency curve for the strain and uh, this is the phase angle of frequency of the strain this is the tabular data we got from the uh, at the particular frequency uh, what is the amplitude and the phase angle for the strain and this is the total deformations as we got in the total deformation amplitude in mm and frequency as uh, the particular frequency what is the amplitude and phase angle corresponding to in that very not uh, phase angle is all times zero so we got the all phase angles here go zero and amplitude of the changing from this values after going to the this is the uh, frequency response curve for the accelerations as we know that the amplitude uh, amplitude uh, uh, yeah, frequency and amplitude ratio at the particular frequency 6.24 e raise to 4 is the maximum accelerations here we go from the tabular data uh, for the frequency the phase angle is 180 degree and amplitude is 1.1013 e raised to 0 0.99 this is the maximum amplitudes and going from the this phase angle for a stress this is the phase angle uh, output of the stress for the particular angles what is the output of uh, stress and what is the corresponding uh, forces applied for that phase uh, that angles for first models we are uh, at the angle of 0 degree and the output of uh, stress is 5.628 mp at the force of 50,000 newtons as we from starting from this and going to the bottom we get the 101 steps for completing the 50,000 uh, MPa starting from 50,000 MPa and ending from 50,000 MPa in that between we got the 101 sub steps going to the phase response curve of the seconds as we see that this uh, also uh, represents the output uh, at the particular uh, angles output of the strain and corresponding force this is similar to that and going to the uh, thirds deformations for the deformation at a particular angles uh, 0 degree deformation is the uh, 5.3199 e raise to power minus 0 0.005 at a particular frequency of 400 newtons as this uh, angle are going to be 101 step for completing the these forces 550,000 mpa as from this uh, result we got all the total deformation frequency response curve for stress strain and deformation and vel uh, velocity and uh, phase response curve for stress strain and total deformations as we got the all three results that is structural analysis model analysis and 
हारमोनिक रिस्पॉन्स कर एज अवर प्रोजेक्ट इज योर वर्स तो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो